Hey there, thank you so much for checking out this video. I wanna cover mailer light campaigns. If you didn't watch the first video, I went over just an overview of how mailer light works. But today I really wanna dive into the campaigns and how powerful they are. These are like if you're sending one-off emails, newsletters, updates, promos, um, for anything automated or in a series or weekly or monthly, you really wanna be putting those in the automation, which you'll see in my later videos. Uh, but today I just wanna cover campaigns Sometimes you just need to send a campaign out real quick. So when you get to the campaigns, you're gonna start here um, and it's basically just gonna be the campaign name. And this is gonna be for your reference only. Your customers will never see this. So this will be, let's call this our first uh, newsletter. So now we know, or we could just do newsletter number one, something like that, all right? Next is the subject line. Now the client will see this. This, is, this needs to be very thought out and professional here. We want to increase open rates. So we want to avoid emojis. We want to avoid explanation marks, really any weird characters in the subject line, Outlook, Gmail, Yahoo, they all pick up on that stuff. So we want to be super specific and even personalize if we can. So I want to say something like, welcome to our weekly newsletter. And then what we want to do is we can always add some personalization here where any field that they filled out in the past, most likely it's the name we could auto fill there so we can just make sure that spacing is good you don't want to mess with this and that will auto fill the person's first name if they've subscribed here's where we're going to put who it's from so i always like to put a first name first and then your company name it just makes it more personal and you'll hear that a lot from me on how to build better relationships with your email subscribers how to always hit the inbox how to get them to open it and how to keep it personal so they do open it and take some sort of action. That's where you're really going to get 50% open rates or higher um, from your list. Now you want to make sure your emails verified. I've got a couple different emails in here. So once they're verified once, they should automatically show up. So you can see that it just showed up since it's been verified. If it hasn't, it'll just say send verification link. It'll send you a link to your email. You just need to open that email, click the button. And then you can come back here and that email will be verified. Sometimes you have to come and refresh the page. And that's pretty much it. I really like to keep this off. You can track opens, but once you start adding analytics in there, you may be going to the spam or promotion folders um, in, in Gmail and Outlook. So I like to keep that one off, just my preference. Um, that's pretty much it. I don't like to do auto resend. I don't need to do split campaigns. Um, but if you want to, they have that option, right? So if you want to do a split campaign, you can always set up two different subject lines and it should, it'll split them up 50, 50. So what we can do is you could try two different subject lines, two different from names, or even two different emails here. And it'll let you put those in there, let you go down and go from there. So that's just really a good way to test stuff out. If you're brand new, uh, for me, I already know what, what works, but yeah, feel free to just test these out. It works is pretty cool. All right, next is the fun stuff, the content. All right, in the content, they've got some pre-built content for you also. If you look under template gallery, these are gonna be like normal newsletter style emails. They've got you know 92, of, 92 pages for you. So they got plenty. You can always search the templates. So if you wanted to send an e-commerce template, we've got those, um, really anything in here, inspiration. I personally don't like templates. Um, once you start setting up newsletter styles, you're gonna start going into those promotion and spam folders if you don't get good open rates. So I do recommend sending your first couple emails as a plain text email to people, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, then if you have like a, a monthly newsletter or a weekly newsletter, you can start using some templates as long as people are expecting those emails to come in. If you're sending a random email that they're not expecting, they're not looking for it, so it might start going into their promo folders. Um, that's why you'd want to send a plain text. But if they're expecting a weekly newsletter from you, then you can, of course, use this. Then you can also create new. So you can choose to do the drag and drop editor, which is exactly what the template gallery is. Or my favorite, you can use the rich text editor. This is like you're sending a plain text email. These go to the inbox. That's key. This looks like a personal email from me to you. If I sent you an email from the rich text editor, you would assume I sent it from my Gmail account to you or my Outlook account to you. If I send it from drag and drop, you are gonna know it's a newsletter style email. I send it to everybody. So since they know this might be a promo, a sale, you're trying to get something from them, you want them to click on something and buy, 
These do not get open as well as the plain text because these are more personal. So let's get this started out of the way. I'm actually gonna go to template gallery because these are already set up for us. It's gonna be the exact same thing as if you did drag and drop. So let's go to template gallery and let's find one we really like. This one looks fine. This, if you click select here, that almost looks exactly what this is gonna look like. So you can feel free to just go back and forth here. All right, we're in the template here. So you're gonna see that we've got all these cool blocks on the left. So we can go ahead and start dragging things in. It already has this example for us. That's why I said try to find one that is as close that you like as possible. So you can just come through and start editing, but it's pretty simple. So we can just take this and I wanna scratch this image. I'm gonna scratch it. I wanna come down here and I wanna find another image. I'm just gonna to go to gallery. I'm gonna see multiple different options. So I, would, I wanna use this one and this is gonna be my nice uh, moments collection, right? You can click there and you can start uploading all your images from your file manager here. Pretty cool. Um, then if you don't like that, you can go ahead and delete it. Um, let's add our logo to the top. So if you wanna add your logo, you can simply click there, switch out the logo, pretty simple. Um, you can adjust the padding, the width, make it a little bigger, you can go left and right. So. You know, they pretty much give you all these options to change the colors, um, maybe a lot of things you don't need, but they're there just in case you do need them. I personally like getting rid of this gray space. Like I said, personal is better, so I always click on full width. Now that's gonna be almost, you know, a little bit closer to a plain text email because the whole background is white. We wanna make sure that we change that background to white and everything's starting to look good here. So feel free to get a template, get in here, start working on it and start playing around. Can even add some videos which a lot of email marketing softwares don't let you do so what you would want to do is put your youtube link right in here just make sure it's the right link and you can go from there when you click on the text it's going to have you edit over here on the right not here and the in the left so what you can do is bold it italic change the size you can see it automatically changes change the color um, and most important what i think you guys need to know is adding that variable so if you want to say you want your email to say hello name you can go hello space click on name add that comma this is your newsletter so pretty straightforward here um, from there buttons are cool because you can go add this link here I always recommend um, going to your website and copying the link directly from your website just to make sure you have the right link it whenever you type in a link in it's usually wrong so just go to your website copy that URL put it in and I always like to do open link in new tab. That way they can keep the email open in one and the link another. So once you're done with that, you can hit save. Let's see, you're always gonna need an unsubscribe link. They won't even let you click done editing if you go and remove this unsubscribe link and you always need an address. So that is one thing that you always need to have. This would be in your universal settings. So when you set up your account, it asks you for an address. If that's your personal address and you don't want that listed here, I would advise not coming in here and changing this every time because this is just auto-filled. You're actually going to want to go back into your mailer like settings and change this address. Then it'll auto-fill in here for you every single time so you don't have to change it. Little things like social media, they give you all the links that you can switch to. Same thing, copy and paste that link. Don't do it from your phone. Do it from a browser so you know you have the right link in there. And that's pretty much it. You guys can feel free to play around, move these things up and down, delete and edit. Always come into settings to see some extra options like the colors, um, but that's pretty much it there. Now, before I even go to the next stage, I like to come up here in this search box. One thing that's really powerful is a pre-header text. So this is the text for when somebody's in their email, especially on phones, which most people watch on the phone anyways, is they see your subject line and then they see the first letters in your email. So they would see this first right below as like a preview, right? But you can really incentivize somebody to open that email. I don't want to say tricking them, but giving them a better preview of what the email's about. So this first sentence of your email may not be a good preview, may not incentivize them to open it. So you may want to write something about, hey, you should open this email because, and then you can finish off the rest. Um, you and your browser, I don't really care about. You can leave it, you can get rid of it. It's not that big of a deal. Now, before I go to the next step, I always like to go to preview and send myself a test. So I'll go ahead and hit send test. And then I go on my phone and I click that and just make sure everything looks good. 
I don't need to go exit out until I know that this email looks good and then I can go exit out and keep moving on. But really always send yourself a test, click on all the links, make sure all the links work. And that's, you know, very, very valuable because you don't want to have to send a campaign out to all your email subscribers and have some broken links and have to go redo it and apologize. So send yourself three, sometimes I send myself three tests just in case. All right, once you're done with this email and you really like it and you want to keep using it before you exit, click on actions and save this thing as a template. So call it whatever you want, your weekly newsletter, we can call it. And you can come copy this and you have your template already. You're just going to go change the images and words. So I always say make your first template really, really nice, exactly how you want it. And then you can duplicate and change out content as you go. And once you're done, you're going to click done editing. All right, after done editing, we're going to come here and we're going to say who we want to send it to. So this button here is just a quick link, send it to everyone, right? Um, or you can come down to your different groups. You can set it up in different segments, which we'll go over in the subscribers section. But um, you can go and just choose and send to one group or you can just choose to send to all. I really like segmenting. Um, so, you know, who's kind of new in your audience, who's been in your audience and then who's always been in your audience. You can kind of filter those out and change the messaging there. So I'll start with just all active, get down to the bottom, review and confirm. We're not sending yet, so don't stress out. All right, so now we just have all our blocks to review one more time here. You can always go back and edit your subject line. You can come back and edit your email. You can send yourself another test. You can preview, and when you preview, it's gonna open a desktop and a mobile version just like this. So you'll see this is the test desktop version. This is the mobile version. And then when you're done, you can just exit out. All right. You can go to the subscribers, change those if you want. And then next is you can schedule. And I really like their scheduling here. You can send now, you can send later and it's in military time. So you can go ahead and change that. Make sure your time zone's correct here. Uh, make sure the date's correct. The time's correct. Like I mentioned, but I really like this one. I use this one a lot. So, I want to send to everyone at 12 o'clock, whatever their, whenever their time zone is 12 o'clock. So this will say, you know, it's after 12 now, but this will say, you know, send everyone at 12. If they're in California, you know, PSD, Mountain Time, Central, it knows. And then you go ahead and schedule it. And that's it for campaigns. Um, if you guys haven't signed up for Mailer Light yet, my affiliate link should be somewhere around this video. If you could uh, sign up through that, I'd really appreciate it. And watch out for the next video. I'm going to be covering subscribers, forms, sites, and automation in the next couple emails. So thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.